Well, I'm a very emotional person, and I try to have empathy towards others. And I also try to have empathy towards other animals as well. And uh, something I sometimes think about is how people will say that they love their pets, they love animals, and yet they kind of have these leftovers from Christianity that is part of this mindset that says that we, everything on the planet uh, was put here for us by God for us to uh, manipulate and control and to own. And, you know, that, that we are in every way, you know, superior in this certain way that we're just, that we end up looking at animals. Um, it's like, I don't know, I just picture someone, I mean, I'm just going to make an extreme. Uh, I love my pet. That's why I have his balls cut off and store him in a kennel every night. I don't know, it's just, it's just, it's, it's weird to me. It's weird to me. And, and people will give these, these really strange arguments for, you know, why it's okay to do this because, they'll, I mean, they'll say, oh, the, the, the one... Some arguments make sense, but the ones that don't are when people will say, oh, no, the dog doesn't notice, or, oh, they don't really, dogs don't have feelings like we do. It's, it's all totally different, and, and you shouldn't think about that. Or, you know, those sorts of arguments is just like, and you say you love pets, and you're going to make that kind of statement. I mean, at least be, at least be honest and say, well... No, it's it's not it's it's not very good for it. I for them. I feel kind of bad about doing this, but it's what we have to do in society. It's 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 just what we have to do. That would be acceptable to me. But when you give these excuses, how can you say you love pets? How can you say you love animals? It, even the concept of pets. I mean, that the whole thing is this this ownership thing, and we're I don't know. Um. I mean, I'm no vegetarian, I'm no vegan, I, I love meat, I, I eat meat, I support people eating meat, um, even though I, I don't like the, you know, the way that the, uh, the farming industry does things in a lot of cases, but, and that could really, really be improved, but, um, you know, the things, <laughs> I hate to say this, but the th a lot of the things that PETA says about the way that we treat animals is true. Our viewpoint of animals. The things that a lot of, I won't say all of PETA, don't, don't quote me on that, but just a lot of the things that I've read that PETA has, that, that, that PETA's, the official statements from PETA about what we do to animals and how we treat them and how we view them, they're right. That is what we do. But it's also a part of our society and the, the thing is, it's leftovers from, again, that whole, um, that whole mindset that everything was put here uh, for our, to, to use as we want and to manipulate and control and to own. Because it's all for us. You know, this whole element that we're, this idea still that we are the center of the universe, or at least the center, uh, the center point, the main focus of what the planet, I don't know, I just, we put so much importance on ourselves. Um, where was I going with this? I'm not totally sure now, but, uh, I just, I hope in time we will, we will start looking at the ownership, manipulation, and control, we start really analyzing those elements about our society and our culture and try to see if, I mean, there's certain elements of that that we need to have because that's what allows us to, I mean, if we didn't manipulate and control, we wouldn't have the technology we have. I mean, we, we manipulate the, 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 the planet to, for minerals and we, we, we make chemicals out of things. And I mean, and that's so important for us to do. So, I mean, we can't, we can't stop that, but 
if we if we're able to really look at what we do though we can analyze how to stop the negative uh, side effects from those things that we do if we can stop the negative things from it that's that's great you know that's kind of how I feel about about religion you know well you know we don't have to eliminate it but we should at least try to make it do less harm if, if we can um, and uh, I just think this element of control manipulation and ownership is part of it I mean like ownership um, I mean <clears throat> we we used to think we could uh, we could own anything we used to think we could own people and then uh, you know we kind of ended slavery but we still think we can own people because you know even marriage marriage to some degree is people <clears throat> taking ownership of each other <clears throat> excuse me and uh, maybe that seems like a very negative way of, of, of viewing it I mean marriage can be a very beautiful thing but um, in the legal sense and in the you know, it's it's basically people be kind of becoming property of each other. So it's it's interesting. Um, I guess one of the things I really want to go back to, though, with the animals thing is, if you say that you love animals, and make sure you analyze what it is when you say you love them. What does it mean? Does it mean that you like nice things that you can control? Does it mean that you care about their feelings? Is it a combination of both? Is there something else going on? Just ask yourself. Just ask yourself. That's all. I'm not sure where I'm going now. 